one day in winter, about the time of Christmas, I was meditating. Early in the morning, when suddenly I found something giving way in my brain, as if a new aperture had opened, and I felt a, an energy rising up from my spinal cord. At first I was terrified, and my attention went to this, to the sensation caused by the energy. The moment my sensation went towards it, the vision ceased. Then I again concentrated and ultimately I managed to keep my attention at the crown of my head while the energy rose upward and upward through the spinal cord to the neck and then into the brain. And then I suddenly found that a stream of silvery light was pouring into my brain. There was a sound like thunder or like a waterfall in my ears, and the noise grew louder and louder and louder. At the same time, I began to expand. I cannot describe to you exactly what I mean by this, but it seemed that my consciousness was now gaining a wider and wider space, and I was leaving my body behind and projecting myself, spreading myself all around in the universe. The body grew dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and dimmer, and I could hardly hear any noises coming from the street. I remained totally engrossed in the vision that was now unfolding before me. It was the vision of a silvery luster, alive, living, vibrant with life, conscious, but spread all around me. The small self that was I seemed to become like a point of awareness watching this great personality that had now developed. This great intelligence which seemed to encompass the whole universe like a small cork floating in an ocean, aware of the whole surface of the ocean itself. It was almost um, a condition like that. I felt as if I was a small point of awareness floating in an ocean of consciousness, aware of it in every point of the compass. I felt myself expanding and expanding, and this expansion was also attended by a happiness which it is not possible to describe. I felt in a state of jubilation, happiness, and elation, which I had never experienced in my life before that time. It was an incredible spectacle, and I was completely baffled as to what had happened to me. But I continued to sit and to contemplate this vision with all the power of my attention. 
In fact, it was not I, the vision drew me to it. I was fascinated. My whole attention was attracted as if as an iron filing is attracted by a magnet. I could not withdraw my mind out of it. I remained contemplating the vision for some time. Finally, this circle of light grew again narrower and narrower. It began to contract. And I, who had now expanded immensely, began to feel myself contracting. The I became again narrower and narrower and narrower until all of a sudden I found myself in the body and again was conscious of the flesh and of the sounds in the street and also the light was now pouring into the room. (laughs) 